the top five apps every business owner should have on their phone. Guys, Kim Barrett here from Your Social Voice, and today I'm here to talk to you about the top five apps you should have on your phone as a business owner. So first of all, though, I'm gonna give you a couple of categories. I'm gonna let you understand exactly the categories and how I lay out my phone. Now look, <clears throat> if you're anything like my, uh, my partner, she likes to have a million different apps on her phone, and she doesn't categorize them and keep them clean to me. That is crazy, all right? I might even get uh, Nita to show you an example of her phone or desktop and you can see a million different things going on at once. But first of all, the most important thing when it comes to having apps on your phone as a business owner is you need to make sure you have notifications turned off. The only notifications I have on are Instagram, purely because I do a lot of outreach there to potential customers, clients, partners, podcasts, uh, hosts and whatnot. And then the other one is my work apps. So emails is off. Facebook is off, funnily enough, the Facebook ads guy has the Facebook apps notification off. Workplace I have on, Slack I have on. They're the only ones I leave my notifications on for, the rest I check. So you can see here, and we'll get a, a close up of it, but this is my whole phone screen. Very simple, very easy, it's all put just in one. So the categories I have is social, finance, travel, extras, business, photo, and hacks. I'm gonna give you a few and my top five. So I'm gonna give you my top five, uh, so my top one for each category. So I'm gonna start off with social. So for me, the most important one is your core app that you wanna focus on. If you're doing social media, you'd probably be looking at Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, maybe you're one of those crazy people doing TikTok, I don't know, LinkedIn. I would choose your top one. And that's the, that's the first one that I would have on the front of that section. And that's the top one that I would have notifications on. So for me, that is Instagram. My first one to have on because I do a lot of message outreach on there. So choose the app that you focus on for social media that generates you business and only have that one's notifications turned on. So that's the first app that you should have as a business owner on your phone. Number two, you're gonna go into finance. So for finances, my top one is our bank, funnily enough. So for us, that's Combank. Now, the other ones that I'll give honorable mentions to, so that's the number two, is your my local bank that we use so I can see when payments come in and get notified when client payments go through. That's a good, a good notification to have on. But I'd, like my secondary ones would be PayPal and Stripe because we do have payments come through there as well. So for you, whatever your business has as a payment processor, either your bank, whether it be PayPal or it might be Stripe, I'd recommend having that app on there as well to ensure that you can understand and see what's going on because the biggest problem that most business owners have is not understanding their cash flow and money and they're scared to look in there. Like, yeah, have you ever gone to a uh, shopping center, you've gone through, you've bought your groceries and then you go to tap your card and you're like, hopefully this goes through and you make that little wincing face where you're like, oh, maybe, and then you try and tap it and then it goes through or it doesn't, you're like, oh, I've got to log in and try and put, move some money over from somewhere. You don't want that to happen as a business owner. You need to know how much cash is in your account at all times, so you need to have that app on your phone. Now, that's number two. Number three, I'm gonna go into the business category because for me, this is very, very important. So the business category, the number one app, and we use this online as well for us, is Monday, which is our project management software. So every time my team, if they allocate me a task, if I allocate them a task, and we get updates and feedback, we always, I can see what's going on and I can log in from my phone and keep track of that. So you wanna be able to know, understand, and see what's happening in your business, be able to pull up and look at the tasks of your team, find out where they're at, what's working, what's not working, and then also get notified as things happen and change because ultimately you don't wanna be stressed out, wondering what's happening, if you're out, you're about, you don't know what's going on in your business, it's not a good time. So you wanna make sure you focus on that as well. So recapping that we've got, number one, we've got your main social media app. Number two is your main payment processor or bank. Number three is looking at your project management software. So for us, that's Monday. Now I'm gonna go into number four, which is your, my extras. Now, I, put, I classify as extras as anything that's not specifically related to what I'm doing at the time. So it doesn't fall into the categories of social or business or finance. Now, my top one at the moment in that category is the podcast app. So I have a iPhone in that section. A close second, a very close second is Audible. Um, and the third one in that same section is probably Uber Eats, which gets a good use as well. But podcast is my number one at the moment because then I can see what's going on because we also have a podcast. If you haven't checked it out, please go check out the Kim Barrett Show podcast on iTunes, download it, leave me a review. But 
And that's one that I always keep an eye on because I like to see what's happening. It's a good way for me to consume bite-sized pieces of information and, and as well I can see what's happening with my podcast. Are we ranking? What's working? What's not working? So my secondary to that would be Audible. Um, I love listening to audio. I think it's great. Now, that is our fourth. Number five is Hacks. So in Hacks, again, this is going to be dependent on you um, and what you're looking at. So I'm going to give you three and I'll give you my top one. So number one is because I do enjoy uh, a good bottle of wine is Vivino, right? So this is a hack where it will show you and give you notes on the bottle of wine that you're looking at, that you're drinking, that you're tasting. It'll tell you all the fancy schmancy things about the aroma, the taste, all that sort of stuff. Not really businessy. So my second is Speed Test. So I always use speed test to find out if I'm trying to upload something on my phone, if I need to get a video up, like I'm sitting there and Nita's going, Kim, I need this by 2 p.m., where's the video? And I've got to upload it. I want to check my internet speed. So speed test is great if you travel a fair bit for work, which I do, and if you travel for your business, speed test will show you what the speed is of your internet. So then you go, great, do I need to go and find Wi-Fi? Is it going to work okay? Should I do something different for it? So. That is number four. Um, so that's that's the, the second one of that one, which is our final one. And then the last one of that. So in that section, I'll tell you my favorite in a moment, but the next one is Headspace. Headspace is great if you need to grab three minutes, four minutes, just to get your own Headspace back. It's a meditation app, works tremendously well, allows you to compose yourself, breathe, take it easy, and just relax a little bit as you go into the rest of your day. Because as business owners, you're busy, you're running around, you've got stress, you've got overwhelm, you've got deadlines, and that's cool, we all have that. But you need to sometimes be able to take a second, breathe, pause, com combine your thoughts, and then really take those next steps. So in order again, if we're circling back, number one is social for me, that's Instagram. Number two is finance, your business processor. Number three in extras is Audible. Number four in business is Monday, our project management app. And number five in hacks is Headspace. So guys, that's it from me today. Hope you've enjoyed that and you've got at least those categories and please, 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 please put all your apps together, categorize them. Don't uh, stress and overwhelm me guys. But as always, if you've liked this, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down and let me know why. Drop a little comment and let us know any feedback or what you would like to see us do more of in 2020 and as always make sure that you subscribe turn a little ding little bell with notifications on so that you get notifications before anyone else about when we release new content until next time i'm kim y'all have been awesome adios